Welcome to Be Beyond Blast Outdoor Edition with me, Lindsay. And me, Gaz. And we're back for another breath- tantalising episode. <laughs> breathtaking, were you going to say? Yeah. <laughs> it is breathtaking when it's this it's hot. It's too hot. Gaz has got his top off, listeners. This is a topless if I, edition. If only you could see, I'm sure we'd have Who to... do you think would want to see that? Uh, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> well, uh, I can think of a few. Yeah, Gary. <laughs> um, who else likes you? Loads of oh Joseph, possibly. Yeah, but jungle out. snake, he would. Oh, <laughs> always on about mine. <laughs> Private parts. <laughs> anyway, for those who have not tuned in before, yeah, <laughs> we, is, a, is a podcast about Big Brother. <laughs> we are discussing BB Twenty, but first we've got but Talking first, points. but first we've got a bit of news about BB UK. Yeah. Over to you, Gaz. So. Since we last podcasted, the new logo came out. The new Big Brother Eye was revealed for Celebrity Big Brother. Oh. Eye of the Storm. <laughs> Hold on. Eye of the Tiger. I have to finish that goal for Prosecco before you can <laughs> say that. Yeah, Eye of the Storm. So mm. what do you think about this whole premise that everyone, all the celebrities, which is, we should say that Celebrity Big Brother is going to come before regular Big Brother this year, which is a weird one for the summertime because mm. they're scared of Love Island. Um, Shame. What do you think about... All these celebrities have having been part of a media storm. That's I like it. Twist. I like the notorious celebrities. But, but is it going to be boring. trashy though? Sometimes they're boring. What, like Danica? Remember someone who slept <laughs> with Sven Gorn Eric? Nancy Delalio. No, Danica wasn't boring. Nancy Delalio. No, there I was someone her. else like Farah. Oh, Farah Abraham. She not was, Abraham. No. Farah, the other one. <laughs> she was boring. So it's I don't know. She had a good moment with George Galloway though. That's the thing. Sometimes they've just got their story and then that's, that's it. it. They've got nothing else yeah. to offer. But on the whole, I'm I'm a fan of it. Like Cat Bin Lady. Or, you know, <laughs> or that people. woman that had her face ripped off by a chimpanzee. Yeah, I bet you I know someone who'll be in it. This girl I just seen on TV who got kidnapped and then they in Romania or something. She was on a modelling shoot and she got kidnapped. I bet she's on it. That probably sounds like quite a good story yeah. actually to have yeah. in there. But and she seems like a magazine dealer. Who was that fucking boring bitch in the last year of the woman? That fucking police woman uh, who had an incredible story. Oh, uh, we never even heard the fucking story. Maggie. <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> Sorry like, if you can hear I that. I hope they're not the people background. like that. Fucking hell, that's loud. <laughs> yeah, she that's, was useless. That's the train line that's by Lindsay's house, by the yeah, way. Yeah, and they're going to be doing works on it from 12 midnight to 6 a.m. for oh, the next two days. that's a hour to do work. Yeah, especially when you have to have your windows open because it's boiling hot. So thanks for that, Thames <laughs> Link. It's too hot to sleep anyway. Thames it's probably the logic. Think. It's burn them down. <laughs> <laughs> So, Go on, yeah. This, what, what do you, you think about it? What, what about the Eye whole? Of the storm. I'm just worried that it might pave the way for trashy celebrities mm. to be in there that have got nothing more than like trashy celebrities on like Celebrity De- Big like, Brother. Like, De- what? like Dexter Co. <laughs> like had a big bill from a club and it was in the news. Yeah, but he was a good housemate. Yeah, he was. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't a celebrity. If he went in there as a celebrity, he wasn't he on was Celebrity on... Big Brother. No, no. Oh, that was my phone. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but you can't go to my Bluetooth. People like that could <laughs> end up in Celebrity Big Brother on that logic. Like yeah. someone who had a tabloid sensation for like a day, a day could be you now a celebrity. It depends, depends what the sensation is. Yeah. Doesn't it? Like, so that guy who like took on like some terrorists or, do you know what I mean? So uh, people like that could be quite good. It went, oh yeah, we're good. fucking Millwall and like battered the terrorists. Like that, someone like that would be good. <laughs> well, that guy that, um, <laughs> when it was the Borough Market one, the guy that was running with a pint. Yeah, this He'd is that good. guy. This is that guy. Is that That's him? the same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he got all stabbed and shit. <laughs> he didn't care. He was a football hooligan. It was his time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's hope he's in there. Yeah, he'd be what good. about Me- Me- Meghan Markle's sister? That's what they keep going on about. Ah, oh, that'd be good. I don't think it's true, though, do you? Oh, that would be good, though. I'd like. I'd enjoy that. I think that. it's all clickbait. Put her dad in there. <laughs> Put, Put the them whole all in there. <laughs> <laughs> you like Jay Goody and family. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you like the eye? You do like the eye, don't you? I do. It's like, um, I don't know, it feels like I've seen it before. It's like a fairground. Yeah, because I feel like we've had that sort of theme before. It feels like recycled to it's me. It's kind of like but... reverted back to the old style mm. from the last year of the woman one, which was completely different. I like I'm it. just scared that it's going too far back because all we've been hearing is like it's mm. going back to basics. It's going like back, yeah. And Kwame, <laughs> <laughs> see Kwame's video and he's like going, and he drew the eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, no, I could be fucking this. Back to basics. <laughs> that was good. That was good when you said it was back to basics. If you haven't funny. watched Kwame's video, have a look at that. That was funny. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm just well, worried that it's going to be like Kim Woodburn shit show. I shouldn't worry about it. What? Which I love. Kim Woodburn would be great. Yeah, I know it's great, <laughs> but I'm torn. And then the other thing, mm. did you hear about Trevor Boris? 
from Big Bang oh, Canada. Oh, he's coming to England. He's come to England. Well, why can't we go out for a drink with him? Well, I'm sure that we can. We just oh, have to get someone to hook us up. Yeah, let's Josh go. Josh Grant, Arissa Cox, we'll yeah. at you. Let's go out with him. And I need the voice of Marshall. Marshall the, the Moose. Moose. Fuck, man, get him on the podcast. We should get him on here. Shall we try? Shit, yeah. He'd come around here, wouldn't he? I think he'd be more than welcome. He'd maybe do showbiz for us. Nah, he wouldn't. I think he'd be all right. So I'm theorising that he's going to be working on our Big Brother. Can you imagine if Marshall the Moose turned up? Ah, on that'd be good. But it would have to be ever would. It's too something niche, isn't English, because she's Moose is Canadian, isn't it? What's an English animal? Um, <laughs> badger. <laughs> 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 but um, I'd like it to be a crossover where Marsha, actual Marsha, comes in. That is quite promising, though, isn't it? Well, they crossed over, they put Nikki Graham over there, so who knows? That's true. Maybe we've got Canadian housemates coming. That'd be good. Um, okay, we we would never. Over. We're too far up our own asses to know. put internationals in, aren't we? Who would we get? Ica? Bring oh my over God, Ica. I would love Ica to come into BBK. That'd be amazing. Good. You never know. Trevor could be hover in, the, in his carriage. Not carriage, baggage. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it's really cool that there's any sort of international link up going yeah. on from our big brother to like, the outside. Oh, you know they go to that like, convention. You know no, what goes on there. But we were told that like everyone comes to us and like learns from us. Yeah. So for, <laughs> so for us to like ship in external talent, that's they're, quite a big deal. They're all told that everyone goes to them and learns from them. <laughs> 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 Should we get back onto? It's like when 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 uh, singers do a gig and they go, "Oh, this is the best. You're the best crowd ever." And they say the same thing. The believe next it day. in that moment. Yeah. Though, yeah. Bullshit. Oh, what are we doing? Talking we go points. Back to, have you got talking points? I've further? got a bit of After Dark. Okay, do you want to bring that in now? It's boring, Reflecting right? back to VBUS. Quite boring. Boring. People were talking about have, who'd had a boob job and who hadn't, and then mm. who had... Uh, JC has, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and His body reminds me a little bit of Mr. Paparazzi. You know what that is called? <laughs> Who's that? The guy that had the parrot Oh, the in. parrot. Yeah, I thought it was him. Fuck that guy. Uh, wasn't that guy fat? Yeah, but um, he had like fake um, implants of like... Oh, uh, yeah! Uh, <laughs> Shame. Um, Brett said... You know Brett, right? Yeah. He said if he, <laughs> if he really likes a girl, he won't sleep with her on a first date. But if he don't like a girl, he will sleep with her on the first date. That's nice, isn't it? What a gen. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I've written. What a gen. <laughs> um, Oh, this was the funniest thing. Did I tell you this already? No. That this is off another podcast. This is off a podcast with Eric Stein. Which is really Who's funny. Who's Eric Stein again? He was just on BBUS once. He was like America's player. He had to play America's game and not his own game. He had to uh, do everything okay. America told him. It fucked him over. Anyway, JC said the producers told him that Big Brother would be the best experience of his life. And he said it's not even close. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he did tell me that. It's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was the funniest thing did he, ever. Did he, ha- did he to reveal what was <laughs> No, but experience? I would love to know. If anyone knows what that is, let us know. <laughs> that if I for crap me up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> something else I also learned from Robert's podcast, which is back on form. I know I was sagging it off last time, but that's just the live feed people dragging it down. Rob is funny. Um, Caitlin was in a five-year relationship with her boyfriend. Not anymore. Five years, though. Yeah, I was thinking, oh, do you know what I mean? Five years is a long time. She's only 24. Yeah. It's from 18. That's mad, isn't it? And this is an interesting bit I heard. Yeah. Did you know Rachel is bisexual? No. Gaz is trying to compute who Rachel is. <laughs> yeah, clocked that, yeah. She's but, bisexual, yeah. and they were, Rockstar was saying... Casey and th- Rachel have a thing. Yeah, they think Rachel fancies Casey, but she doesn't like to talk about being bisexual. Shut up. She doesn't... <laughs> it's a very loud bird tweeting. Tweeting. She doesn't like to... It is like the live feed. She doesn't like to talk about being bisexual on the live feed because her mum and dad don't like it. But they, because I thought, <laughs> on, on the live feed, which is all the time. Because I thought, why do Rachel and Angela hang around with KC? Because they don't seem like the same sort of people. Like, no. it seems like KC would be with the misfits. So now I've realised it's because they like it, they've got a little crush on each other. So I thought that was an interesting bit of information. So we think that KC's crushing on Rachel? No, too? Rachel likes KC, but I don't know if KC, I don't know if KC's got a girlfriend or anything. Oh, not sure either. This is some shit from like After Dark episode nine, <laughs> <laughs> which I probably watched the first hour of. So it was a Dropbox preview. Um, and then I just had Rockstar and Bailey saying they don't trust Tyler. Well, and what's going on about Tyler being on that show? Whatever. Oh, it is. TKL or something. Ca- I don't what? Care is about that like that? a Candy Crush show? Is yeah. That, that, so it? Rob was just joking about that. Like, it's just like that, right? He goes, they're letting Tyler out next week to go on TKL. <laughs> <laughs> like they let Paul out to go on Candy Crush. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this you know, I don't care about that. To be honest, I think that's just the way that TV that's goes TV, now. Exactly. Because all they want to do is bring the Big Brother audience over to that show. Yeah. Because otherwise, you wouldn't give a fuck about it. But um, Judy Girl Pod. Yes. Check them out. Did have a point a point to raise? Go on. Jane said. This, I never knew that guy was called James. No, because he keeps his name under wraps. Yeah. Oh. BB Team North. Now you've revealed it. No, Zach says it all the time on the oh, podcast. Okay. BB Team North. I'm not said, keeping it that under wraps then. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the box wine comes out, things <laughs> slip. Box wine. Oh my god, no, I've drink, not got to that bit. They're yet. drinking box wine over oh, there now. That is filth. Uh, even we wouldn't <laughs> steal <laughs> that low. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he sent me a picture of the box and it said like 62 glasses or something. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. How big are the glasses? Like, little, yeah, those little, little ones gone, <laughs> they sent the little beer pong one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, he was like, this is a show which has an um, America's favourite player. Yeah. And if you're more exposed to this character on a different show, then yeah. he's, more, he's got an advantage uh, in that. Oh, okay, that's Which I thought, point. you know... Oh, but come on now. But the thing is... You know what they're like? All this conspiracy theory is flying around because he's got the cloud. Yeah, um, power app, and but it lasts heard, eight weeks. So I, I heard, heard the would, cloud would affect. But I heard the cloud ain't no good. That's what I heard on another podcast. You said that. I like the look of the cloud. I told you that. No, but they off. were like, oh, it's no good because of this reason. I don't know, some loophole or something. Oh, I, I, could, couldn't I, understand. Could, well, I couldn't understand <laughs> it either. And I was like, oh, it sounded good to me when they said eight weeks. Oh, are we still <laughs> talking points now? Or yeah, the yeah, no one. Uh, uh, yeah, can can um, I just say something? No. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> on this podcast. How dare you want to say something, you moron? You may not. I, and I think I sent you, did I send you the screen cap or was it the link to the YouTube video? I was educating okay. myself on the history of BBUSA the other day oh, on YouTube. Oh, that's fine. And it was talking all about how the back door became a thing. Oh, yeah. And like, <laughs> and like it wasn't possible in the past. Yeah, because there was no veto back yeah. in the day, yeah. And like, Everyone used to play in the Vita when it was first introduced yeah. in like Big Brother 3 or something. Mm. Oh, I didn't Ev- know that. Everyone like, used to play in it. Yeah, that wasn't a player pick or anything. Oh. So player like the pick. way... It, the player pick for the PMV. <laughs> yeah. like, so the way it was like, would play mm. out made it impossible for someone to not know they were going to be voted out or something. Uh, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, when, exactly before how, the Vita, basically, there's a... Ah! <laughs> that is a wasp. <laughs> is it? Ow! <laughs> is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Because I've got flowers on my dress. <laughs> yeah, basically, if two people were put up, if you were up, you knew you like you were, had a 50-50 chance of going, basically, because mm-hmm. there was no veto. Well, there was no veto at all yeah. back then. Yeah, Dr. Will See, still won. Spoiler. I just thought from Big Brother 2 USA, they'd gone like, okay, this is a new format, bam. Yeah. Head of household, veto, and that's how mm. it goes. But no, apparently not. It's evolved over the years. It's quite a complicated format, you know. People get quite confused by it. I get confused it's, by it. I do too. Just by someone reading off a card, I'm confused. <laughs> I have to listen to the podcast just to piece it all together afterwards. Access denied. <laughs> also, why have they stopped the power apps Oh, the shit is I like it. Man. Especially because, oh, like, people I know. we like would get the power apps. Their life had run out of power. <laughs> <laughs> they need to go to the cry phone. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the first episode, which is the Vito episode, episode 10. And we just come off the back of Scotty's nominations. He put the bros up, bro no. Say what? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> basically, I got fucked this whole week because... Spoiled. I thought I'd been spoiled, but I, it, you know, when you read the spoiler and it's yeah. wrong because you like only half read it. I thought I'd read that Caitlin had been evicted. <laughs> so the whole week, because it was before I saw the video, before I saw the nom, <laughs> and then they kept milking it like, oh, Sam's going to use the power, Sam's going to use the power. Uh, and I was, she was thinking, never gonna... I was thinking, fuck, Caitlin's going to go, Caitlin's going to go, Caitlin's going to go. Did you want Caitlin to go? No, though. of course not. I Are really like, mad? I love Caitlin. Caitlin's Caitlin. brilliant. She's legacy. I was like, <laughs> I saw the whole week I was panicking about Caitlin going. So then by the time it got to it, I was like, oh, she's not going. And I, I couldn't quite believe it. Do you know what I mean? So I ruined myself. Imagine spending a week panicking about Caitlin exactly. going. Exactly. <laughs> but Kate, imagine losing Caitlin. That would be. No. No, no, and I'm, I'm not down I'm with that. I'm not happy this week either. I'm Why? scared. She's on the block. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah. The slut shame noms. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to that. Oh, yeah, so I forgot I got... that. Oh, no, she's probably going to go. Everyone no. good, guys. Hopefully, there's still the veto yet. We don't know what happened in the veto. We've not seen the veto. Go on. So, the first note that I've got from episode 10 was that Winston mm. was in the Jenga room calling mm. Scotty a freaking dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He said, I want to break his face, dude. <laughs> and he had his fist all clenched. <laughs> Big Brother's got a watch on that. He said, watch. he said, I'm going to make his life torture. And then he called him a dork. <laughs> <laughs> got a high school or what? Um, oh, he went to Scott in the HOH room. 
Before that, I noticed yeah. there was an ironing board up in the store. <laughs> you know I like to keep my eye on the ironing board. It was actually up. What design has it got? Just a board. Ironing board's always got the same like hokey design, like like a tube seat cover. <laughs> <laughs>